today we are bringing you the other semi-final contest in this year's National Science and Math Quiz competition. Last week, Opokuwari made it to the finals. We are here to determine which school meets Opokuwari at the finals. Competing today are Presby Boys Secondary School, Presec, and Achimota School. Let's now meet the contestants. We have Presec to my right, represented by... Michael Bipi, Form 3. Riz Abdullahi, Form 3. Alom Sich, Form 3. We have Achimota School to my left, represented by... Soraya Suafuku, Form 3. Brendan Upa, Form 3. George Ama, Form 3. Contestants, you're welcome. I wish both schools the best of luck. In round one, you have 15 seconds to give me an answer. The first question goes to you, Presec. Only one attempt. State how each of the properties, atomic radius and atomic number, changes as you go from left to right in the series B, C, N, O, F. In other words, um, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Only one attempt. Yes, Michael. Atomic number increases, atomic radius decreases. Again? Atomic number increases, atomic radius decreases. And that is correct. <laughs> At Mortar School, to which main group will an element with atomic number 15 belong in the periodic table? Only one attempt. Benjamin? Group five. Group five is correct. Presec, if log x equals 0 0.5921, find log x squared. Hello. 1.1842. That is correct. Achimota School. If log x equals 0 0.7512, find log of root x. Benjamin. 0 0.3756. That is correct. <laughs> Presec, what is the major function of the tonsils? How long? Secrets lymphocytes. And hence? And hence it helps in combat, uh, combating a bacteria and other microorganisms. I'll give you the map. <laughs> the tonsils produce lymphocytes and hence defend the body against infections. At Mota School, what is the function of melanin? What is the function of melanin? Yes, Benjamin. It produces the dark pigment of the body and uh, prevents it against ultraviolet rays. I'll give you the mark. <laughs> but you also have to remember that we also have melanin in the eye, which prevents reflection of light within the globe of the eyeball. Either one was enough for the full mark. Your question, Presec. The voice of a lady speaking through a handheld non-electrical megaphone is heard by those located in front of her as well as those located behind her. This illustrates the phenomenon of A, refraction, B, polarization, C, diffraction, D, interference, E, reflection. Only one attempt. Reza. Diffraction. That is correct. At Mortar School, only one attempt. Sunlight passes through a crystal and emerges traveling in only one plane. This illustrates the phenomenon of A, refraction, B, polarization, C, diffraction, D, interference, E, reflection. Benjamin. Polarization. That is correct. <laughs> Presec, describe the functional group of alkanones.
Michael. They contain the carbonyl group, and with the carbonyl group, a carbon atom is attached to an oxygen atom by a double bond. That is correct. At Water School, if a nitrogen atom is bonded to three saturated and or unsaturated groups, how would you classify that compound? Yes, George. The tertiary amine. That is correct. <laughs> Simplify the expression. Presec, x squared minus 5x minus 6 all over x minus 6. Yes, Elon. X plus 1. X plus 1 is correct. Hashimoto school, x squared plus 7x plus 12, all over x plus 4. Gloria. X plus 3. And that is correct. Presec, what name is given to a mass of nervous tissue that contains many synapses and cell bodies and is enclosed in a connective tissue capsule? Hello. Ganglion. Ganglion is correct. Achimota, what name is given to the membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord of vertebrates? Benjamin. Cranial membrane. No, I will not take cranial membrane, George. Meninges. That is correct. Only one attempt. Presec. An observer on the ground will hear the sound of an aeroplane traveling faster than the speed of sound. A. Only when the plane breaks the sound barrier. B. As the plane is approaching. C. When the plane is directly overhead. D. After the plane has passed by. Michael. After the plane has passed by. That is correct. <laughs> the last question for the round at Motor School. A V is the initial velocity and alpha is the angle of projection of a projectile. Then the time taken by the projectile to reach its maximum height is A, V squared sine squared alpha over 2G, B, 2V sine alpha over G, C, V sine alpha over G, and D, V squared sine 2 alpha over G. Benjamin. D. I'm sorry. And the answer is C, V sine alpha over G. And that brings us to the end of round one. As I start my day, I know they are counting on me. I am a truck driver for the Ghana Education Trust Fund. My job is to supply books to schools across the country. Whenever I see the school kids, my mind goes back to my school days. I too had hopes and dreams that sadly never came to pass. I made a firm promise to myself that if I couldn't chase my dreams, I would make sure that that is good. Seeing these happy kids simply warms my heart. It's happening every day, and I'm proud to be part of Get Fired. Get Fund, we invest in tomorrow's leaders. At the end of round one, Achimota School has 21 points. Presby Boys Secondary School has 24 points. And now round two, the applied science round. Most of the questions are applied in nature. Contestants have 15 seconds to give me an answer, except when questions involve calculation, then they will have 30 seconds. Your question at Mortar School, find the base if the sum is correct. 6744 four, 
plus 532 equals 7476. Gloria. Base 8. Base 8 is correct. Proceed, find the base if the difference is correct. 732 minus 81 equals 661. Michael. Base 10. <laughs> no. Yes, Razor. Base 9. We have one last chance. Razor. Base 11. Base 11. <laughs> Ashwater School. If a seed imbibes water, its weight increases. Would you regard this as growth? Explain. George. I wouldn't regard this as growth because growth is a permanent increase in the weight of, the, of an organism. So if it imbibes water, it, it won't, the weight will increase permanently. Gloria, do you want to add to that? Yes. Um, I wouldn't regard this as growth because growth is an increase in bulk or dry weight of the organism which is increase, um, which is I'll give um, you the math. Yes, it is not growth because growth involves increase in dry weight caused by cell division and cell elongation. Your question, Prisik. What is the shape of the growth curve of most organisms and what accounts for this shape? Michael. It's a sigmoid shape. And um, it's because initially conditions may be appropriate for good, like oxygen and food materials, so that growth is rapid at a point until there's pressure placed on resources so that the growth rate stabilizes and there's no increase in the population. Do you all agree with that? You get two out of three. <laughs> Say the shape is sigmoid, that is the S shape. So initially, you don't have that many cells, you have an initial slow rate. And then as your cells build up, you have the rapid growth and then it tapers, you know, sort of gets constant at a point. Your question, Achimota School. Name one refrigerant that is used in place of chlorofluoroalkanes. Chlorofluor, yes, George. Hydrofluorocarbons. I'll give you the mark. Your question, Prisik. What role does chlorofluoromethane play in the decomposition of ozone in the stratosphere? Yes, Salom. The CFC is a breakdown by homolytic fission, uh, fission to, produce a, 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 to, to produce radicals. There's a chloride a radical. And this reacts with the ozone molecules to produce water and ozone chloride yeah, and oxygen and gas for a long time. And so that is correct. Your question, Ajimota School. A block of ice floats in a glass filled with water to the very brim. As the ice above the rim of the water melts, will the water overflow give reasons for your answer? Benjamin? It won't overflow because when it's floating, it occupies a volume which is equal to the volume of the ice on top of the water. Therefore, when it melts, it fills its volume and it won't overflow. And that is correct. Presec, a girl sticks a drinking straw in a bottle of soft drink and tightly covers the upper end of the straw with her finger. With the upper end still covered, she lifts the straw out of the drink. What happens to the drink in the straw and why? Hello. Okay, the, oh, uh, <laughs> once her hand is on the straw, the drinks remain remains intact in the, uh, within, its length, within the length of the straw uh, because the atmospheric pressure supports the, the length of the column. But when she removes the hand, because the atmospheric pressure acts on... You have answered my question, hello. <laughs> I only wanted what happens with her finger still there. I didn't ask about what happens when her finger is removed. 
at Mortar School. If the time is now 8 o'clock, what time would the clock read in 42 hours from now? I would say only one attempt for this one. If the time is now 8 o'clock, what time would the clock read in 42 hours from now? Benjamin. Two o'clock. Two o'clock is correct. <laughs> Only one attempt, Presec. If the time is now four o'clock, what time would the clock read in 63 hours from now? Hello. Seven o'clock. And that is correct. <laughs> Motor School, what accounts for the hardness of diamond, which is an allotrope of carbon? Benjamin. This is due to the sp3 hybridization of carbon in diamond. It has compact arrangement in the carbon, and the network of the covalent structure also accounts for the hardness of carbon. I'll give you the mark. Presec. Why is graphite, another allotrope of carbon, soft? Michael? This is because, because of the structure of the bonding in graphite. We have hexagonal plates separated by weak Van der Waals forces so that the bonds are easily broken when heat is applied. I'll give you the mark. <laughs> At Imota School, is it possible while tightening the nuts on the wheel of a car to use too much torque and break off one of the bolts? Explain your answer. George. It's not possible because torque is a turning force. So even if you apply too much, you just cause the bolt to rotate and not break it. You've been bailed out. Do you want to take that for a sec? Yes, Michael. Yes? Oh, well. It is possible this happens when the shear stress exceeds the breaking strength of the bolt. Your question for a sec. At an Easter grand sale, a man bought a 0.15 kilogram object that was advertised to be solid gold. Back at home, he discovers that the object displaced 100 cm cubed of water when it was placed in a container of water. The known density of gold is 1.93 times 10 to the power of 4 kilogram per meter cubed. Did he make a good or bad purchase? Give reasons for your answer or give a reason for your answer. Michael, Michael, Elon. Because uh, the mass of gold uh, to displace uh, 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 100 cm cube of water is 1.93 kilograms. Therefore, uh, if you bought 0. Point yes, Achimota, for a bonus, George. He made a bad choice because gold is a pure substance. So, and the density of the substance he brought was 1.5 times 1.5 grams per centimeter cube or 1.5 times 10 to, to a power 4 kilograms per meter cube so it's not it means it's not good since it doesn't get the same density as good you know i'll give you the bonus mark <laughs> with the caveat that the density is 0.15 times 10 to the 4 kilogram per meter cubed. But otherwise, the argument is correct. Your own question, Achimota School. One method of ensuring that plants obtain water and nutrients at the same time 
is to grow them in liquid culture media. What is this called? Gloria. A mineral culture solution. Not true. George. Aquaculture solution. Huh, one last chance. Yes, Gloria. Cultural solution. Sorry for a bonus reason. Hydroponics. Hydroponics. <laughs> Insects and mammals often release chemical substances into the environment to attract a mate or to mark territories. What are these chemicals called? Hello. Pheromones. And that is called. <laughs> that brings us to the end of round two. As a little girl, my dream was to become a doctor. I always wanted to help the sick. Now I'm in the dental school together with others who had similar dreams. The support from the Ghana Education Trust Fund has made things a lot better. Their support has helped provide new equipment, teaching aids, improved facilities, and our student loans. We're studying hard and we know that we can continue to count on support from Get Fund to turn our dreams into reality. At the end of round two, here are the scores. Achimota School has 40 points. Presby Boys Secondary School Presec has 45 points. <laughs> and now to round three. Both schools have three minutes to solve the same problem. Contestants, please turn over your sheets. I'll read the problem of the day. Compound E is synthesized using the reaction scheme. One mole of A reacts with two moles of B to give one mole of C, that's step one. And then one mole of C reacts with one mole of excess D or reacts with excess D to give one mole of E. That's step two. Intermediate product C is isolated and made to react with excess D to give E. The yield of the first step is 80%, whilst that of the second step is 100%. If in one synthesis, three moles of A are added to five moles of B, how much of E will be formed? The molar mass of E is 120. Viewers, that is the problem of the day. lies in the hands of our children. Children today, leaders tomorrow. And education holds the key. Without the proper learning environment, these children may never reach their full potential. And it should not be that way. That is where the Ghana Education Trust Fund steps in so that these children can have access to basic facilities and enjoy the learning experience. Gradually, one by one, we are removing the barriers in the way of quality basic education. We will continue so they too can continue. Get Fund. We invest in tomorrow's leaders. Thanks for staying with us. We'll now see what the contestants did with the problem of the day.
contestants for your solutions. Let's go through what I have. We said one mole will react one mole of A will react with two moles of B to give C. In this problem, we were given three moles of A and five moles of B. Three moles of A will require six moles of B. Since only five moles of B are available, only two and a half moles of A will react. Therefore, the moles of C formed, assuming 100% yield, will be two and a half. Since yield is only 80%, moles of C formed will be 2.5 times 0 0.8, and that is 2.0. So your two moles of C will now react with excess D to give two moles of E. The mass of E obtained, therefore, is 2 times 120, which is the molar mass of E. And therefore, mass of E obtained is 240 grams. Let's look at the solution from Presec. Viewers will notice that Presec did exactly as we <laughs> Let's also look at the solution from Achimota School. You will also notice that Achimota also knew what they were about. And so both schools get 10 out of 10. said, you would notice that we still have a close race with Presec leading by a margin of five points. Can they maintain that? Will the tide change? We'll find out as we move on to round four. Contestants have 30 seconds in most cases, 15 seconds when questions do not involve calculation. Your question, Presec. An electrical heater of resistance 10 ohms draws 15 amps from the mains. At what rate is the heat developed? Hello. 2,250 joules. Yes, your, your unit again. What? 2,250 watts. <laughs> to you, Achimota School. An electric equipment draws heat at 50 kilojoules per second. What current is drawn if the resistance of the equipment is 20 ohms? Benjamin. 50 ohms. That is correct. Presec. Find three positive numbers in arithmetical progression such that their sum is 15 and their product is 45. Five plus root 10 and five plus two root 10. <laughs> no. Benjamin for a bonus. One, three, and five. Oh, no. It's one, five, and nine. One, five, and nine. Your question, Achimota School. Find three numbers in arithmetical progression such that their sum is 27 and the difference of the third and the first numbers is 16. One, six and eighteen. No. For a bonus alum. Seventeen, nine and one. I'll 
give you the mask. Your question precept. In which of the following plants are the leaves modified for climbing? A. Nepenthes. B. Begonia. C. Delonyx. D. Gloriosa lily. E. Bryophyllum. Only one attempt. Michael? Gloriosa lily. That is correct. Water school. In which of the following plants would you find water storage stem? A. Pistia, B. Delonyx, C. Caladium, D. Nepenthes, and E. Euphorbia. Gloria. Euphorbia. Euphorbia is correct. <laughs> Presec how many molecules of ammonia will be formed? if 0.2 moles of nitrogen are made to react with 0.45 moles of hydrogen gas. Avogadro's number is 6.0 times 10 to power 23. Alum. 0.2 moles. Not true. Number of molecules. Yes, Reza. 1.8 times 10 to about 23. That is correct. Achimota School. Achimota School. Calculate the moles of nitrogen in a vessel of volume A31 cm cube at a pressure of 100 kilopascals and temperature 200 Kelvin. R is 8.31 dm cubed kilopascals per Kelvin per mole. No, Gloria. Watch it, Gloria. 0 0.5 moles. Last chance. Benjamin. 0 0.05 moles. That is correct. <laughs> Presec, what resistance must be placed in parallel with 12 ohms to obtain a combined resistance of 4 ohms? Six ohms is correct. Achimota, what resistance must be in parallel with six ohms to obtain a combined resistance of three ohms? Gloria. Six ohms. And six ohms is correct. <laughs> Differentiate the function with respect to x. Presec y equals x to power 5 plus 6x raised to power 4 plus 10x squared plus 8. Alum. 5x to the power 4 plus 24x to the power 3 plus 10x. Razor. 5x to the power 4 plus 24x cubed plus 20x. That is correct. Achimota school. Y equals 3 plus x into 4 minus x. Gloria. 4 minus 12x. No. Benjamin. 1 minus 2x. That is correct. Presec. <laughs> What is the most distinguishing feature of the group of mammals referred to as marsupials? Their most distinguishing feature. Michael? They, they possess a pouch in which the young ones are kept in. I'll give you the mark. They have a pouch in which their immature young complete their development. An example is the kangaroo. Your question at Motor School. 
what is the most distinguishing feature of the group of mammals referred to as ungulates? Young ones, um, the young ones are laid as eggs. Eggs, they lay eggs. I can't even hear. They lay eggs, eggs. They don't lay eggs. <laughs> For your bonus, Elam. Okay, they are herbivores. Then they feed on grass. Oh no. The angulates consist of the artiodactyla and the perisodactyla. They have hooped feet. They have hooped feet. Your question, Presec. 2.0 grams of a piece of limestone were analyzed and found to contain 0.82 gram of calcium trioxocarbonate 4. What is the percentage calcium in the limestone? Calcium carbonate, the molar mass is 100, and for calcium it is 40. Hello. 41%. That is not true. You won't, you won't even let me finish reading. Michael. 4.1%. That is not true. How long? 16.4%. That is correct. <laughs> Ajimata School, your question. Point zero grams of an iron ore were analyzed and found to contain 3.36 of Fe2O3, that's iron oxide. What is the percentage iron in the ore? Molar mass for Fe2O3 is 168 and atomic mass for iron is 56. Point six four percent. That is not true, George. Fifty six percent. Fifty six percent is correct. <laughs> and so we come to the end of round four. The future lies in the hands of our children. Children today leaders tomorrow. In education holds the key. Without the proper learning environment, these children may never reach their full potential. And it should not be that way. It looks like wolf. The looks that is where the Ghana Education Trust Fund steps in. So that these children can have access to basic facilities and enjoy the learning experience. Gradually, one by one, we are removing the barriers in the way of quality basic education. We will continue, so they too can continue. Get Fund. We invest in tomorrow's leaders. At the end of round four, Achimota School has 68 points and Presby Boys Secondary School Presec has 77 points. <laughs> that is quite a margin, but will they be able to maintain it? Let's find out in round five as we move on to the riddles. Both schools are competing to solve my four riddles. I'll be reading the clues to each of the riddles and they will call my attention when they are ready to solve a riddle by ringing a bell. Let's hear the bell from Presec. Let's make sure your bell is working, Achimota. Okay. Is that working? All right, 
then will take the first riddle. If you hear my name for the first time, you might think I am nothing but a piece of furniture. Mind you, I was not constructed by a carpenter. Although I have no legs, this is not a problem for my numerous uses. I consist of as many as a hundred units carefully joined together. My main part is made up of 45 units, while a transition from the main part to some other part involves 33 units. My chief architect was a Russian. Who am I? Michael. Predictable. That is correct. We will take the second riddle. I am always in opposition to things joining themselves together at any point. I have a relation who always prefers to be at points where I hate to be. Whereas this relation of mine prefers absolute silence, I love the opposite. Wherever we appear, we take alternate positions. You are likely to find us wherever waves travel in opposite directions. If you examine me carefully, you would find an ant in me. Who am I? George. Antinode. Antinode. We'll take the third riddle. I am well known to motorists throughout Ghana. My popularity extends into chemistry and biology. In chemistry, I am associated with atoms. In botany, I am associated with certain fruits and nuts. In zoology, I am associated with mollusks. The snail and the eggs of birds. George. Shell. Shell is And now the last riddle. I am a three-digit number. The sum of my digits is divisible by nine. I am an exact square. If you reverse my digits, I am the square of a dozen. Yes, Benjamin? Seven. Oh. The bell precept. Michael. Four for one. That is correct. <laughs> Let's now go to the second part of round five, where I read certain statements and contestants are to say whether the statements are true or false. They have 10 seconds to do that. Remember, you gain two points for a correct answer. We deduct one mark from your score for an incorrect answer. Your statements at Chimota School. In Ghana, electricity is supplied to homes at 50 hertz. Benjamin. It's true. That is correct. Presec, area of sector of a circle of radius r and sectoral angle theta is half r squared theta. Fraser. It's false. I'm sorry, that is true. Achimata School, your statement. 11 pairs of the human ribs are joined to the sternum. 11 pairs of the human ribs are joined to the sternum. Benjamin, False. that is correct. <laughs> Presec, soapy detergents and soaps are the same. Michael, True. that is correct. At Chimota School, the length of an arc of a circle of radius r 
a subtending an angle theta at the center is half r theta. Benjamin, Close. that is correct. <laughs> we said impedance and resistance have the same unit in electrical circuits. Hello. It's true. That is correct. <laughs> Achimota School, the acid functional group in soapless, soapless in quotes, the acid functional group in soapless detergents is different from the acid functional group in soapy detergents. Benjamin. It's true. That is correct. Great <laughs> sec. The spaces occupied by the central part of osteoblasts are called Havertian canals. Hello. It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Gases are more soluble in cold water than in hot water. Benjamin. It's true. That is correct. <laughs> Preset, the area of the curved surface of a right cylinder of height h and radius r is 2 pi r squared h. Razor. It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Achimota School, an induced EMF exists in an electric loop whenever there is a change in magnetic flux through the area of the loop. Yes. Benjamin. It's true. That is correct. It is true. <laughs> Presec, gases diffuse at faster rates at higher temperatures. Yes, alone. It's true. That is correct. <laughs> at water school, volume of a pyramid of height H and base area B is 1 over 3 bh. Benjamin? False. I'm sorry, that... <laughs> Preset, the light intensity probe is used for measuring light intensity in land habitats. Reza? It's false. That is correct. <laughs> Your final statement at Water School, a myelid is present in the saliva and intestinal juice of human beings. Benjamin. It's true. Benjamin, that is true. Fund. My job is to supply books to schools across the country. Whenever I see the school kids, my mind goes back to my school days. I too had hopes and dreams that sadly never came to pass. I made a firm promise to myself that if I couldn't chase my dreams, I would make sure that that is good. Seeing these happy kids simply warms my heart. 
every day. And I'm proud to be part of Get Fire. Get Fund. We invest in tomorrow's leaders. Competition at Mortar School has 84 points. Press before secondary school has 96 points. At Mortar School, I'm sorry that your hopes of winning the cup this year have been dashed by your own friends from the Greater Accra Region Presec. Well, I'm sure you will support them at the final. Maybe they can bring the cup to Greater Accra. Who knows? We'll see you when you compete against St. Peter's to determine who takes third place. We said congratulations, you've made it to the finals. I'm sure you're happy about this. We'll see you at the finals. Viewers, we've come to the end of the program. As I was saying to Achimota, next week the competition will be between them and St. Peter's School to determine who takes third place and who takes fourth place. Make a date with us. Bye for now.